What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. So today I'm going to make a video to talk about the difference between coins and tokens. For whatever reason we have um, some confusion about this that continues to linger and it's not anyone's fault. All I want, all I hope to achieve with this video is just getting the, out, the information out there that there is a difference between a coin and a token. Basically the difference between a coin and a token. A coin is to function like currency and, and a token is to have a wider use case. For example, if we just go here on coin market cap, you can see there's coins and tokens. So coins, if you just hit top 100, you can see these are coins, everything from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, Stellar, Litecoin, NEO, NEM, IOTA, Dash, Monero. So just in this list right here, you can see Bitcoin, the store value, Ethereum, an application developer platform, Ripple, a microtransaction platform, Bitcoin Cash, similar to Bitcoin Cardano, a developer application pro platform, or a de developer ac application platform that also functions as a microtransaction currency. Stellar, basically the same as Cardano in the sense of how they function, although different in, in terms of, uh, if you look at it with a microscope, right? or magnifying glass, Litecoin to function similarly to Bitcoin as a um, silver to Bitcoin being gold, higher um, circulating supply, higher total supply, NEO, a, an Asian based application developer platform. And then you have these other ones that go down the list. You have NEM also out of Asia, you have IOTA, a Tangle Ledger, Dash, a privacy coin, Monero, a privacy coin, Ethereum Classic similar to Ethereum, but actually a Charles Hoskinson project, an Asian developer platform, a Bitcoin hard fork, Bitcoin gold, uh, Lisk, another developer platform, Rayblock, Ryblocks, a developer platform, Steam, a social media site, Zcash, Privacy Coin, Stratus, and then the, the list goes on. You know, you have various different things going on in here, mobile. Um, so there's a lot of different coins but you can see that some of them are similar, but they all kind of function uniquely from another one. They're not, there's not very many that are exactly the same, at least in the de developer application platforms, they have different circulating supplies, although NEO and Ethereum are, are similar, but the fact that they are different in the way, in their use case, right? Their utility. So if we look at tokens here, you can see, now here's where it gets interesting. You have, uh, coins, you have the tokens that are built on these platforms and it tells you where they're built. Most of them are built on Ethereum. So these are built on the coin Ethereum platform. Now this came up because um, on my Twitter, I had some people talking about Tron getting listed on Coinbase. So if you're on Altcoin Buzz IO, you can see me, Blockchain J. I, uh, I tweeted out, I said, people talking about Tron, TRX, being listed on Coinbase. Why would a token ever get listed on Coinbase? Can't even make this stuff up. I would truly be shocked if Tron, let alone any other token, ever got listed on Coinbase. Why would Coinbase list a token? They only they have three coins on there. If you notice, if you go here, they're all, they're all coins, right? You have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. If you were really truly, and also Bitcoin Cash is listed on Coinbase, but if you were really truly looking for another coin to be added to uh, Coinbase, you might look at Stellar, you might look at Ripple, IOTA, maybe a privacy coin, Monero or Dash, um, possibly, yeah, possibly Steam, but there's no real mention that, last I heard Coinbase said they're not looking to add any more coins. But if they were, I don't think it would be a token, guys. <laughs> Why would they do that? And if they did, it would be a shock to me, but my anticipation would be that it would be a, a coin. Now, there is some interesting stuff to point out about some of these, like EOS is supposed to be uh, shifting into a developer application platform and not be an ERC-20 token. Now, with all that being said, let's talk about ERC-20 tokens, right? So you have, if, if you want to know about ERC-20 tokens, let's just say you want to know about Tron, right? You can actually search Tron and get the con contract address 
the token decimals official links. Now, why would you want to know all this or why would you need to know this, right? Well, for example, if you're on my Ether Delta. So if you wanted to set up a wallet on my Ether Delta, which is only for ERC20 tokens because it's an Ethereum based platform, you can't send Bitcoin here. You can't send any of these coins here, right? You can't send, you can't store any of these coins here except for Ethereum. Okay. Like you wouldn't be able to find, uh, let's just say BTC, you wouldn't be able to find BTC on here. Or LTC. Right? Because it's not an ERC20 token. So ERC20 token means it's a token that is built on the Ethereum blockchain. <laughs> so as you can see, most of these tokens are built on Ethereum, which a couple, with a couple starting to be built on NEO and even some coming out now on um, Qtum. But basically the way that a um, token functions, it would have a wider use case. For example, um, Tron. If you, if you know about Tron, you know that it's looking to be an entertainment developer's uh, extension. They're calling it Blockchain 4.0. You have uh, Omise Go, Unbank the Banks. You have an exchange here. You have um, Walton, an RFID solution. And you have Dragon Chain, a Disney project um, that, that, that has a, a wider use case than what you would imagine, a supercomputer, in Golem, so you have a lending platform, you have Ethos, which is like a, a mobile wallet hybrid or wallet hybrid syndicator and AI, Dent, a mobile use case, 10X, like a credit card for, for cryptocurrency, Quant, Stamp, Smart Contract, Security. So you have a whole bunch of different, uh, you have a, even, even Substratum, to me, Substratum should function more as a coin than it does as a token, especially if it's considering to be a decentralized internet. That's why I haven't really been able to take Substratum too seriously because it's, it should be a currency. It should be a coin than an Ethereum based, but it, it, then again, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be that way, but if it's going to be truly a decentralized internet, it should have been built as a coin. And I mean, if we just go through some of these coins, you can see there's a lot of competition for coins. And there's a lot of privacy coins on here, but I just wanted to point this out because I feel as though there is some confusion about that. And this is just a real quick, quick rundown, but basically, you would go here if you wanted to set up a, you would set it up, you know, password, whatever. Okay. Oh, let's try this. Okay. You hit, I understand you download that, right? Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole step, I guess, <laughs> but the point is, is that if you wanted to store your ERC-20 tokens, your Ethereum-based tokens, this is what you could do. And if you wanted to send it to uh, in, invest in an ICO, you would do this by setting up the wallet. Then you can enter your private key, like right here. You, you can see they want your private key. This is what most people do. You just copy and save your private key to cold storage and paste that there. And then you'll be able to access your account. To view, to view your balances, if you wanted to send tokens, you would do the same thing right there. You'd paste it. Now, if you have a Ledger Nano and you wanted to store your um, tokens on your Ledger Nano, but access it through my Ether wallet, you would go to Ledger wallet, you would plug it in, and then you just hit connect. You don't even need to put your private key in there. This is just some basic information. I'm trying to get it out there to kind of clear the air on some of the confusion. Like I said, I'm not picking on anybody. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad. It's just, um, I didn't understand why someone would suggest that a token would be listed on the, um, I didn't understand why someone would suggest that Coinbase would list a token. So another subject that's been kind of funky lately, um, people calling Bitcoin trash, saying it's a, you know what coin? I don't get that logic is what I was saying. Sure, Bitcoin network fees are high, but Bitcoin is still the coin that moves the market. 
unless another coin can stand out, this market doesn't move without Bitcoin. That has historically been the case. Whether you like Bitcoin or not, whether you agree with Roger Veer or not, Bitcoin is the one that moves the market because it's the nine-year-old coin. More people that more people know about Bitcoin than any other coin. So unless there was a point in time where people were starting to know about Ethereum, they're starting to know about Ripple, a little bit about Cardano and a little bit about Litecoin, but that's about it. I mean, for the most part, this is this is the one that moves the market. So that's why they've been able to get away with some of the crazy stuff like the fees that they've got. But also, if you just look at the marketplaces on many of the exchanges, they're Bitcoin marketplaces. So like unless Litecoin just starts getting so many marketplaces, which it could, um, or Bitcoin Cash starts getting marketplaces, which it could, or Ethereum starts getting, well, there is actually a lot of Ethereum marketplaces. It, but Ethereum, probably out of these four, five, the one that really stands the chance is to probably make it irrelevant is Ethereum. But this is still so new, it would take, it, it needs a lot more, uh, it needs a lot more branding to get out in the mainstream. But sure, I mean, if you wanted to, but even then there's going to be haters that are calling Ethereum trash. Like I've seen the ridiculousness about people calling Ethereum trash, saying, oh, Cardano is so much better solution. Oh, um, Neo is the future, you know? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, really? Just look at this tokens market right here. Everything's Ethereum. So that's funny. Ethereum, the, the one, the pioneer, it's like people call the pioneer trash nowadays. So Bitcoin, the pioneer, the one that, the one that started this whole thing is all of a sudden trash. How fair weather fan can we get, right? We don't even have respect for the Satoshi white paper that started this whole thing. And we don't even have respect for Ethereum, the, the developer application platform that brought about tokenization, right? So it's just kind of wild, in my opinion, to hear some of this crazy talk. And I, I don't think it's, you can talk how you want, but I don't think it's justified. Anyways, just wanted to go over this basic stuff, nothing too crazy. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you think a token could actually be listed on Coinbase? I mean, I could be wrong, but to me, I don't. I wouldn't understand why they would do that. So, anyways, guys, we'll see you guys next time. This is Jeff with All Coin Buzz. Subscribe to this channel if you like. Click the note the bell to get notified when videos like this drop. We'll see you next time.